Um, people go on the internet. The statistics show that 70% of the people that go on the internet with their credit card in hand ready to buy leave the internet without buying because they were too confused. And that's why the old website design doesn't work. We use the old website design in some areas because that's what people expect. We have to give people what they expect. So we've got sites with lots of content. 2% of our revenue comes from those. The majority of our revenue comes from pages that have absolutely nothing on them but a little paragraph of content, a video, and a squeeze box which says, you give me your information, basically, and I'm offering you something to do that. And we'll show you some strategies how to do that. Now, these top two press releases that we wrote, the other thing you have to keep in mind is you have that three seconds. So let's say I want to buy a high impact window. I get on here and I see up in the green box it says impact glass windows. Okay. Palm Beach window and door impact windows. Then you get down to mine and it says beware. Get high impact window estimates. Um, the 2009 hurricane season comes in full force and the demand dot dot dot. You want to know what else it says. It's human curiosity. They're going to click on mine before theirs. Now you're on my page. I've got your full attention. You go to the next one, before getting storm shutters. They're not even typing in storm shutters, but that's also on storm shutters, but I've ranked here. Before getting storm shutters, get high impact window estimate. Then you go down, it says FBI released research showing over 80% of homes, dot, dot, dot. Before I buy a high impact window, I bet I want to know what the FBI says about them. So, I've got them. They're here. They're on my page. They're not going back now to click on one of these that somebody paid for. So, um, you've got to use tactics like that. You've got to get their attention. You've got to slap them in the face. Hey, I'm here. Wake up. Look at me. My product's better. Come over here. I went to the FBI website. Typed in a high impact window. Got your statistics. Copy and paste it. Stuck in my press release. Took me two minutes. Is that easy? Uh, in my, my experience, tell me if I'm wrong, whenever I click on something that's inside this yellow box, I'm getting slammed with pop-ups. Yes, you are. And when I and I purposely don't hit that, and I'll go to the ones right below that. Yeah, that's why we use this. It's because if you're up here in the top, if these guys are up here in the top and they're on a keyword that's high traffic, these guys know what they're doing. That's why they're in number one. Well, then they're using AdZoo in different places for the pop-ups and the pop-unders. They work. People like us get frustrated with them, but if it's something we typed in we want to know, every now and then I won't do it just because I know what's going on. They're just selling my information. So I'll find out what they're doing. I'll back search them and come in. That's what I'll do. But people will get on there. The internet, it seems like it's been around for a while, you know, but really the majority of the people out there, it's kind of new to them. The first wave of the people that got on and trafficked the internet were the techies, the people that knew what they were doing, they got on there. So that's the majority. Now it's been around for a while. The average person is beginning to use it more, beginning to trust it more, and especially with the ability of the handheld devices. So people, the baby boomers are going on there now, wanting websites, wanting to buy things. Well, they were skeptical five years ago. So right now is the time you want to get on there. If you Google search me and put in my name, I take up all those pages, and you'll see down at the bottom there's two pictures of Sherry Chastain. That poor woman, is, the other one, I don't have it in here, but the other one is a poor real estate woman in Tennessee. And I knocked her off page one, and then she was page two, page three, and went all the way down. And then I get on there one day, and there's her picture at the bottom. I'm like, what are you doing back on page one? How did you get there? I click on her picture, and I find out it's a Google profile. Well, I need one of those. Blah, blah, blah. Get on there in five minutes. There's my picture right next to hers. So I can't get her off completely because she's got a Google profile. She's back on there. So Google is allowing people to get past marketers like me and get back on there. But she won't get any spots. But... Five years ago, if she would have took these pages over, it would have been harder for me to get in, you see. So that's why we can't wait. If we want our spot in the market, if we want to be an expert, we need to be here. We have clients that pay twenty, uh, you know, anywhere from ten to $20,000 per month in phone book ads. They used to work five, ten years ago. Over the years, they've seen them dwindle down now to one, two, three prospects a month. It isn't worth the money. I was in a place the other day, they couldn't even find their phone book. People don't look in the phone books. Yeah, they go 
on their handheld devices or they type into Google. So you're going to have to get to where the people are going, and that's where they're at is on the internet. So if you typed, I mean, if you clicked on one of these top two press release things, it's going to take you to a free press release site. It didn't cost us one penny to post that press release. Now, some of our clients in the beginning have a little problem with that because you click on that free press release and there's competing ads on there. Well, yeah, there's competing ads on there, but nobody's looking at them because they're wanting to know what the FBI said about high impact windows. And they're going to look at my content and they're going to go down to the bottom and they're going to click on that link I have there because my resource box is going to want them to come there. Where did you say you submitted the press releases? Free press releases. So, uh, yeah, and actually we are, uh, we'll get into that on down here, but we have lists of those. And there are thousands of free press release sites and we have found the ones that are crawled by Google continuously. So we can get indexed. I've got screenshots where I've been indexed in four minutes. I wrote a press release, get on there, and bam, I'm right there and it says four minutes on it. Yes, sir. I have a question about the, you said copy and paste from the FBI website. Mm -hmm. um, I know all websites, they have their little deal about content, copyright, and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Is, is that not pertinent, or is that only because it's that type of site you took it from? You can take, you can take, you can take content from anywhere. You can only take small amounts, then you get into plagiarism. You can take a, a paragraph. I constantly, what I'll do whenever I need to write a press release on an industry that I'm not familiar with, I will put what I'm going after into the search bar. I will open up everything on the page. I will <coughs> read all that content. I will take and grab a paragraph from here, a paragraph from here, a paragraph from here, stick it in Word, and then I'll look at that and I will change the words around. I will take, like just the other day, I took one paragraph from a press release, one that, from a top, top news site API, stuck it on there, and each sentence I broke down into an entirely new paragraph, changed the words around. Well, all I've done is repurpose the content. There is no new content out there. It's just repurposed. I didn't use their exact words. But coming from the FBI website, I did use their exact one because it was statistics. But it was one paragraph. That's done all the time. Um, if you take more than one paragraph and you copy and paste it, you need to give them some kind of a link back. That's why we don't do it. We take it and repurpose it and it's ours. That happens constantly. Pub oh, you can take public information all day long. Look at things like the secret. That was around for a long time, and that was public. These guys like Joe Vitale and people like that, that's all they do is they, they search the public archives. They go back and get this stuff. This is a brand new thing. They're just marketers. Marketing is the only difference. It, you can market a poor product and make more money off the very best product in the market. It's not marketing correctly. When you refer to squeeze box, what exactly was that? Okay, so, uh, what that is, it's where you've seen a form, they've asked for your contact information. Sure. That's what it is. They call it a squeeze page because that's what you're doing. You're squeezing those people into making a, a decision. Their decision is, get off my page or give me your information, one or the other. You have to think about yourself as a traffic director. The traffic is moving on the internet constantly. So you've got to place yourself in that stream of traffic and direct it where you want. And if you don't have their contact info, you only want two things from people on the internet. You either want their money or you want their contact info so you can go get their money. One or the other. Unless you just have all kinds of time and all kinds of money and you just love putting out information people can read. And it's all about pride. And that can happen too. But at some point you would like to capitalize on that. And forms, places like AWeber um, give those forms to you with just a little bit of script. It's real easy to get. Yes? Um, you said that the, the paper clip ads are 